Engineers want to design seats in commercial aircraft so that they are wide enough to fit 90% of all males. So then it says accommodating 100% of males would require very wide seats. Okay, that makes sense. That would be much too expensive. So they want to make the seats so they fit 90% of all males. Men have hip breaths, okay, that are normally distributed with the mean of 14.2. Okay, let's write that down. So mu, that's the mean, is 14.2. And a standard deviation of 1.1. So sigma is 1.1. That's the standard deviation. Find P90. So P90 is the 90th percentile. Okay. P90 is the 90th percentile. Then it goes on to say, that is, find the hip breadth for men that separates the smallest 90% from the largest 10%. So they want the 90th percentile. Let me draw a picture of what that looks like. So P90 is the number so that 90% is to the left of it. Okay, so it means it's got to be over here somewhere. So this is P90. And then 90% of the area is over here. That's what P90 means. Okay, so P90 is the number so that 90% is to the left. So in decimal form, this means the area is 0.90. So to find P90, we'll go into StatCrunch, and we'll use the normal calculator. So the probability that x is less than or equal to blank needs to be equal to 90%. So P90 will appear here. P90 will be the answer that we get here. This is the x value uh, that separates the bottom 90% from the top 10%. So we'll go to question help, and we'll go to stack crunch. And it's less than because it's shaded to the left. A cheap trick is you can always just use less than for percentiles. So if it was P50, it'd be the same thing, except you put a 0.5 here where the 0.9 is. All right, so you go to stack crunch, then you go to stat calculators, and then you go to normal. So stat calculator is normal. And then we enter the mean. So the mean in this problem was 14.2. Uh, the standard deviation is 1.1. And then we're given P, the area. So that goes in the second box, right? So P90 means 90% is to the left. So we pick less than. When we click compute, the answer should appear in the first box. There it is. There's the answer. Uh, how many decimals does it want? One decimal, so 15.6 is the answer. So 15.6 is the answer. And that's it.